Hello, this is Tanner Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to build a soldering fan that can get rid of your soldering fumes. I know I have a previous video about a soldering fan, but that soldering fan didn't work very well. That soldering fan took the soldering smoke and dispersed it throughout the room, which is just as bad as letting the soldering fumes float up. So, today I'm going to make a tutorial on how to make a soldering fan that works really well. Now, to build this soldering fan, first you're going to need to find a computer fan. This computer fan can be any size you like. Any size will work. Second, you will need a grill that fits your computer fan. The grill makes sure that the carbon fiber mesh does not touch the blades of your fan when it's spinning. Next, you will need six screws that fit the holes on the computer fan and can thread inside. Finally, you will need some carbon filter to absorb the soldering fumes. If your computer fan wires aren't long enough, then you can use some extra wire and heat shrink tubing to extend them. Now the first step is to take the carbon filter and place it over the fan. You will need to make a square that is the size of the fan, but overlaps over the edges slightly. After you finish cutting out the carbon filter, you should have a piece that fits nicely over the fan. Then you need to take the screws and make a mark on where the holes are behind the carbon filter. You can then take a screwdriver or something sharp to drill the holes out. This is my completed carbon filter sheet. I put four holes in it. Now, you will need to make another one that looks exactly like it, with the holes in the exact same places, like this. You need two carbon filters, because one doesn't absorb all the solder smoke. To assemble your soldering fan, you first need to place the grill on top of the fan. This needs to be on the fan's intake so the soldering smoke will fl flow through the grill into the fan. You then take the first piece of carbon filter and place it on top, and then the second piece. After this, you will need to take all your screws and fit them into the holes to secure your carbon filter and metal grill in place on the now, fan. Now, after you have your carbon filter secured in place, there's only one last thing to do. That is to Secure screws in the back as a stand so your fan can stand up while you're soldering. So here's my completed fan. It stands up perfectly and it is ready to be used for soldering. To wire up your fan, you can either use a 9 volt battery clip or if you have a variable power supply on your bench, like I do, you can use that to power your soldering fan while you're soldering. Personally, I think that is the easiest approach. But if you want to, you can solder a 9 volt battery clip onto the input wires on the fan, and it will work just fine too. As you can see, I have my power supply set for 12 volts, and the fan is working just fine. So, when you solder, the solder smoke goes straight into the fan. There's no excess that comes out. And it works just fine. As always, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.